All right, we'll move on to your health now. 2026 is shaping up to be a big year for medical breakthroughs. And here to tell us what's on the horizon with her crystal ball, NBC <laughs> News medical contributor, Dr. Natalie Azar. Hi, happy Hi. new year. New year. Well, I mean, we saw in 2025 these GLP-1 yes. medications are, you know, everywhere. Actually, 2024, too. Awesome. We're going to see that more next year, but they're also expanding what they can treat. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, another year, another conversation about GLP-1s. I don't think that's going away anytime soon. So I think the way I'd like to frame it, Savannah, is let's think about where we are and looking into the future and where we're going. Right now, in addition to type 2 diabetes and obesity, we have a couple of other approvals. For Ozempic, it's also approved to slow down progression of kidney disease, mm -hmm. approved for cardiovascular risk reduction. Wagovi has an approval also for cardiovascular risk reduction and something called MASH, which is a mouthful, metabolic dysfunction associated steatohepatitis. Wow, formally you're known, starting the new year with a bang. Right? Uh, formally known as fatty liver, that is a fibrosis or scarring of the liver, but mm. not quite cirrhosis. And then we have ZepBound, which is also approved for obstructive sleep apnea. But if you take a look at the list of what these medications are being studied in, we've got psoriasis, psoriatic arthritis, different types of inflammatory bowel disease, long COVID, addiction, cancer, dementia, and PCOS. The sky is the limit with these medications. We've had a couple reports of some disappointing findings recently in Alzheimer's and other things, but I think people are very, very optimistic. And also look to Lilly for potential approval of a pill. And they also reported a couple of weeks ago on some really fantastic phase three trial results on their new triple hormone treatment, which uh, resulted in more weight loss than even what they currently have on the market. Well, and people oh. would love to see some price relief yes. as well on yes. those. Also good news, we're expecting advances in research for, for, for research and also treatment of, breast, of cancer. breast cancer. So this, I think the way I'd like to couch this, Savannah, is I spoke to one of my colleagues about this, thinking about ca breast cancer in terms of its biology as opposed to just the anatomic stage. You know, we always get so caught up in what stage you have. And why is this important? Looking at a tumor in terms of its genetics and thinking about how can we de-escalate treatment? How can we maybe not give radiation or chemotherapy or need to do a lymph node biopsy in someone? Not only may that not change a patient's outcome, but it also dramatically improves their quality of life. Mm -hmm. A couple of other things to mention, expanding, expanding the coverage for screening. You know how we talk a lot about you need to get an MRI, right? Or you need to get an ultrasound, but it's not covered. Look for those things to be covered. New drug development obviously is always there as well as increased funding for metastatic cancer awesome. all hopefully in the future right horizons we hope thank you Nat. appreciate yeah. it hey thanks for watching and don't forget you can catch the today show every morning on nbc or take today when you're on the go just follow the today podcast on apple podcasts spotify or wherever you listen